thought we did weather all right. <laughs> Ken Tomash She's filling sports. in now, doing a little weather for us. I can tell you about Haiti. <laughs> Pretty quick. Tell you that. Well, we do have the exclusive Woo! on Haiti. It's Friday night. Let's and get right on. to it. You know, because he couldn't buck Tampa Bay's losing tradition, Richard Williamson was shown the door at one Buccaneer place today. In just over a year on the job, Williamson went 4-15, and 15, and the only things that piled up quicker than the losses were the rumors that former Giants coach Bill Parcells was waiting in the wings and that Williamson was a goner no matter how he did. Well, he didn't do too well, but to his credit, Williamson says he never let all the talk bother him. It was happening started back when I got the job in February, so it was nothing new. Uh, every week or every day or every two weeks, there was always something, some speculation about me and this job, and so and what, it was just a continuation of what was going on, and I... Uh, I didn't let those kind of things interfere and, and distract me from what I had to do. And now Parcells has reportedly been given a weekend deadline to make up his mind. Well, the Bengals' new coach has really earned his stripes. Even though he's only 32, David Shula has been an NFL assistant for 10 years. And, of course, being the son of Dolphins coach Don Shula doesn't hurt either. David has already beaten one of Dad's records. He's the youngest coach ever hired by an NFL team. Just a few months younger than Don was when the Colts hired him back in 63. I'm all for you. And... Uh said, the next record I hope you break is uh, 300 wins. <laughs> and I said, well, I want to get one win first. <laughs> and then we'll think about the 300. And after 80 wins in nine seasons with the Seahawks, Chuck Knox resigned today. He may return to the Rams, where he won five NFC West titles in five years in the mid-70s. Well, the Lakers have the hots for holdout Miami Heat guard Sherman Douglas, and Miami has until tomorrow to decide to match L.A.'s offer to the free agent or lose him. Miami says they're still trying to trade Douglas, who was their MVP last season. On the court tonight, the Cavs now have the best home court record in the league. Mark Price misses the three here against the Spurs, but he'll come out of this traffic jam with the ball and put it up and in for two of his 14. The Cavs led San Antonio by six. And then it was Price penetrating and dishing to Hot Rod Williams for the easy jam. Fifth one in a row for Cleveland, 103-97. They are 13-1 and one at home. The Magic has lost 13 in a row. The Pistons beat them for the second straight night. It was the Nets by 16 over Charlotte. The Rockets jetted past the Bullets, 107-100. And Chris Mullen scored 36 to face the Warriors over the T-Wolves, 106-102 in overtime. In college hoops, Bobby Knight said, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Well, Indiana did most of the talking tonight against Texas Tech in the Hoosier Classic. Calvert Chaney came up with the steal here. Took it down court, a little elbow room later. He had two of his 20, but Indiana only led by two in the first half. They put it away, though, after the break. Damon Bailey gets free and pops the three. The 10th-ranked Hoosiers won it going away, 86-69. Kansas ripped Southern Miss, 109-76. Big battle in Connecticut. UConn by 54 over Central Connecticut State, and Michigan State, 82-71 over Austin P. In the preps, it'll be Estero and Bishop Verreau for the championship of the Kiwanis Big 8 tournament. Verreau dumped Collier, and the host Wildcats ran over Riverdale. The finals at 7.30 tomorrow at Estero. And one girl scoring tonight, Mariner 52, Bayshore 47. And now, ladies, equal time for the exotic dancer story earlier in the show. The Bruins lost their shirts in Buffalo. The Sabres sliced them up. Gord Donnelly shot from just over center ice. Gets through Andy Moog's feet. Final Buffalo 8, Boston 1. He must have felt a little... Naked there on that shot, if I Clothes do are so flying myself. all over the all show. Over the place. Okay. It's Friday night. We can pull it all out. Some good football this weekend, too. We will have uh, the Cowboys and the Bears mm -hmm. Sunday at 1230 from Soldier Field in Chicago. And then we'll see after that. We'll see uh, how things go along as we get. We have the Super Bowl this year, too. Oh, January 26th, if you want to write down in your calendar. January 26th you're hoping to go visit Minneapolis. The Super Bowl. Fingers crossed. It's too cold for me. <laughs> too cold. Forget it. Huh?